Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now the experiment below was carried out in a dark room and we have three different sheets. We have P, Q and R arranged in a straight line. Now when a torch is shone at the hole on sheet P, a bright circular patch of light was seen on sheet R only. So let us draw the light ray to help us see how light is able to actually reach sheet R. So over here, how is light able to reach R? Light from the light source must have Travel in a straight line to pass through the hole in P to pass through sheet Q and finally to reach sheet R. So over here we notice that for sheet R, what we will see is a bright circular patch of light. Now, we notice that no light was able to pass through sheet R because we are able to see the patch of light reflected off R. So, let's write this here. Sheet R did not allow light to pass through. So what can you conclude about the transparency of sheet R? If the material does not allow light to pass through, we say that it is an opaque object. Now let's move along to sheet Q. Now remember, on sheet R, we were able to see a bright patch of light. So since we were able to see a bright patch of light on R, that means sheet Q must have allowed most light to pass through. So I'll write this here. Sheet Q must have allowed most light to pass through. So what can you conclude about a material that allows most light to pass through? We call that a transparent material. That means Q must be transparent. Finally, we left P. Now over here for P, you notice that there is a hole in the middle and the hole allows light to pass through. And more importantly, what is the shape of light that we see on R? We actually see, I'm going to highlight it here, we actually see a circular patch of light. So why a circle? Why not a rectangle? It's because the circular patch of light actually represents the light that was only able to pass through the hole in P. So I'll write this here. The hole allowed light to pass through. But what about the other parts of P? Did the other parts of P allow light to pass through? Now, if the other parts of P allow light to pass through, then you wouldn't be able to observe a circular patch of light. In fact, you will observe perhaps a rectangular patch of light. Okay, so precisely why are we able to only see a circular patch? It's because P only allowed light to pass through the hole, but for the other parts of P, light was not able to pass through. So let's write it here. For the other parts of P, it did not allow light to pass through. So light was only able to pass through the hole. Now what do you call an object or what is the transparency of an object that does not allow light to pass through? Once again, it's similar to sheet R. P must be an opaque material. So once you have figured the transparency of all three materials, it is much easier to derive your answer. For sheet P, it has to be an opaque object that leaves us with wood, cardboard, definitely not clear glass that is transparent, and option 4, wood. So we have three possible options. Let's move on to Q. Remember, since there was a bright patch of light, Q allows most light to pass through. It is transparent. So option 1 is out. Q cannot be cardboard. Q cannot be wood. and for option 4, clear glass is possible because clear glass is transparent. Finally, we have our last object, sheet R, which is opaque. And we are left with option 4, is cardboard opaque? Yes. 
So what will be the best answer for this question? It will be number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!